It's time to go under a bridge. Go under a bridge. Very creepy. It's time to go under a bridge. Not go up and climb the bridge and then, you know, climb up the tower, go across the bridge. No, it's to go below the bridge. Um, yeah, yeah, some more of, you, if you're, like, looking at this, yeah. Okay, so, so whenever, like, Lucky in the game, whenever he, like, stands, okay, like, he has, like, this stand thing, and it looks like a, almost looks like a selfie, but it also looks kind of odd because when you play, like, the level under pressure, when he's, like, uh, digging out of, whatever we don't know what he's digging out of but whatever he's digging out of but like he like he gives you like this look um and you can see like there's videos of it on youtube uh where you can see he just get he gets out and he'll be like standing at you like he's like tired but happy like has like this this very disturbing face because it's like not even like it's like a tired face like a motion of tired and he's like looking at you kind of thing but um it's not even the point of what – it's not even just th – that is a big point. That is a big point. But it's like – okay, so in Shadow of Colossus, when you go under the bridge and um, you keep going – like like this is past uh, – um, this is like all the way in the desert area. Like we're all the way like near the end of the bridge, you know. But like, you know – past the shrine there'll be um the bridge's arcs and like you can see stuff underneath the arcs okay and um to the left look what you'll see yeah isn't isn't that trippy you'll see this and you've seen this like i'm sure on different objects too in the game you can find too but like not not as blatant as the bridge. So on the left, on the top left, don't look at Lucky's face that I've drawn, okay? So I've drawn Lucky's face at the, the bottom, right? Look at the top left. That, and there's not an extra line, uh, um, but I, I had to, like, because I was drawing this pen, you know? But, like, so look at it. It's the three, um, it, it, it's, it was, a. Uh, uh, it's like a smile, and, um, it's uh ha there's the nose there's the space now the space the space lines of the smile okay the space lines like not connecting the smile okay it's not connecting the smile but it's like like spaces of a smile okay um is because like whenever you're drawing lucky also because um i was just doing like a rough drawing of lucky just to show you because i could draw lucky pretty quick um but uh so if you go to like, um, okay, the, the two lines being split, right? Uh, when you're drawing Lucky, um, you'll have a split line, uh, like a thin, thin split line. Because uh, he, he's trying, like I told you, he's trying to look like a frozen princess. He's trying to look like a Disney Pixar character, you know, like kind of like so the, from a coloring book, okay? So um, what you do is you'll take these space lines and then that will help you to draw his eyes, okay? Because one of his lines has a space uh, for the nose and for the eyes. So when you're like putting in the eyes. Now, if you notice, I didn't fill Lucky's eyes because we know, we know by now that Lucky is just beyond scary. Uh, but like his eyes, like not filling his eyes, that's exactly the 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 kind of lucky we want we don't want his eyes filled because as soon as I like color and fill his eyes like because they're uh, with like you know the dark uh, stuff um, we'll just get kind of like a happy cartoon you know kind of like a Felix the Cat kind of vibe uh, just just like a good old cartoon feel but okay so. Of course, yeah, the, even the shapes of his eyes. I'm sure somewhere in Shadow of Colossus we can find that, okay? Um, the K? Oh my gosh, we got so much here. The, the, the K, like the, the K above, um, uh, I, uh, I made a rough draft of the K because I didn't want to make like the full detail, but in Shadow of Colossus there is a K. Uh, and it's, um, it's on a different part of the bridge also, and it's, uh, but, but the K 
it like uh it, it, oh my gosh it, it's a really odd k i like how it looks like i want to draw it exactly but like i just did a quick k just to show you because you know how are we gonna spell lucky right we're gonna have l u c k and then y so um but like this one was just kind of crazy because at first at first when you're like looking at on in the game shot of Colossus, when you're looking on the bridge, okay, and you're looking at, like, the, the gravel of the structures of the arcs and that, um, it just, it, it looks like a creepy face. Um, and the reason we've drawn that specifically to the top left is because when you're playing Shadow of Colossus, we want you to see how scary Lucky potentially is. Like, Lucky is very scary because uh, this face is showing the real identity of, of lucky okay so like this is showing uh what lucky is um and you know even in the game when you're playing the game lucky does it he doesn't feel like a he doesn't feel like 100 percent like a fox you know he feels like um feels like a character like like a disney character and all that but like to have the face uh and it's kind of funny too because when they, they took this uh they made a, pa a draw pattern so you could draw his cheekbones, you know, but to, to draw his cheek and his mouth area. Uh, but what, one thing we also did is we put uh, – because we wanted, I wanted to make it so you could feel like Lucky down, down below. Now, Lucky has these thin lines, okay, on his smile. Like uh, – and the thin lines are the same thin lines in Shadow of Colossus because Shadow of Colossus has these thin lines – and um, the, the thin lines are like what his mouth is. Now, now when he, we also know when he opens his mouth, very scary parts of his mouth because it's, it's like vampire teeth, you know. Um, and then there's ways you can dress up. You can give Lucky different costumes and that. But, yeah. So, and it all makes sense when you think about it in the grand scheme, okay, like it, for like a market way. Okay, so first Lucky was – the VR game project, right? Then it went over to PlayStation. Then it went over to Xbox, okay? And then eventually to the Nintendo Switch, right? So it, it's been the, like, it, it's been portrayed itself as like a multi-platform game. But if you remember, it went from VR to PlayStation because PlayStation needed something at the time. The PS4 needed something at that time. And uh, the PS4 was just like looking for um, a different game library thing because they were they were struggling so they needed to have like a good video game library now it's also like um it's like it's like we could just wrap this up because it's just like straightforward in our face now in shadow colossus by playing i will probably find more stuff on this like i'll probably find even more stuff but like i like even like think about uh, when he, there's the bird, okay, so here's the the bird that just flies like it a, uh, it's like a flying silver bird. <laughs> oh my gosh, it, it is it is so odd and so creepy. It's creepy. This is in Super Lucky Tale, okay. So this is like the fly, but we also have, of course, we have flying birds in Shadow of Colossus. That's no, that's a no brainer, right? We have flying birds, but the flying silver bird, the way that it looks, because right next to the Y, you know. When you're on top of the bridge and you're even on b bottom of the bridge is better because being on top of the bridge is just confusing. But on the bottom of the bridge, um, you'll see the Y blatantly. But not only will you see Y blatantly, you will see something that looks like the bird, like 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 a it looks like a crappy drawing of the bird because because the bird has these odd wings that's in Lucky Tail. Okay, so you even have the bird there too um and i was gonna draw a rough the, the rough draft of the bird but like i was like you know if you play lucky tail it's pretty easy to see this bird um he's in the guardian he's not on gilly he's not on gilly island but it's like on the guardian trials this bird uh it fly it, it flies in there like a 2d because some some parts of the guardian trial are uh, 2d so they have him like a poster, kind of like a cardboard cutout poster, which if you know anything about Donkey Kong 64, you know that cardboard is very scary, um, uh, even s s scarier than like a final boss in a video game, like uh, 
just a cutout cardboard of um, a boss battle is pretty, 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 pretty dang scary. Um, oh my gosh! So, so yeah, like uh, the the K the K does not uh, for one the K does not look nothing like what I drawn up there. But at least I drew the Y. I drew really good. Um, uh, to the top left, like I told you, like there's one line that, but I just used that one line as a way to draw like the shape of it because it also shows you how easy it is to put a nose. Okay. So like to draw a nose and then, um, to put above it the lines so you can make like an outer line. So I guess when like you're drawing, um, if you're drawing a rough draft, you could just over lines and then over line again, kind of like on a graph chart and then you over the lines and then you can make the cheekbones and then you've made the cheeks and then you'll go into the eyes. You won't just like draw because Lucky's eyes are like these big oval things. And if you even know um, his eyelashes, because they, uh, they they make him like an HD texture. OK, so um, on his HD texture, he'll have like eyelashes, like like little eyelashes up above at the top um and then have like thin lines for the for the rest of the white like the white oval oval of it so um those dark lines that are up there from the hd texture are also another thing of like hey idiot you know like hey stupid hey here's dark lines in shadow of colossus there's a ton of dark lines in shadow of colossus but here's Lucky's tails. I uh, love Lucky's tails. Lucky's eyes, and here's his eyelids of like a colored, like 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 a dark color. And then here's the thin line. Um, and that's a lot of things you see on the structures in Shadow of Colossus. You see a lot of thin lines, but you also see like dark lines, you know. Um, and the dark lines will be a little bit bigger, and they'll make different shapes and stuff. So his HD drawing and online they have coloring books. So like they have like, like examples of how lucky tail could be a coloring book, how um, it would be like a coloring book thing. Uh, but, uh, um, and we're not even going to like break down yet. Like by his cheekbones, we're not going to break down, um, down below, um, how there's some odd shapes with his fur. We, we're not going to break that down yet until we get more on that. But like, okay, so we're even going back to like uh, Y just being a big giant Y, right? And then like luck, I put I put luck all in the small words because we still got the four and then the five, you know, to make devil, devil. But like, the giant Y um, and the giant K, the separation with the giant K is kind of crazy too because, you know, we also have Banjo-Kazooie, right? So we have Kazooie with uh, K, but we haven't like really gotten into what K is. But yes, this is all in the game of Shadow of Class. And the reason we're doing this is one, we don't want to get um, – you using the, co the copyright policies of um, Shadow of Colossus. But, like, what, what we do know is it's very easy to get to this area in Shadow of Colossus. All you do is you don't fight the first boss. You don't fight him. And then you just – you're going to go across the bridge, and you're going to go to the shrine. And then once you're at the shrine in the desert, then you're just going to keep walking forward and forward and forward till you get to the other parts to the end of the bridge. Because – it's the easiest way also to get to the end of the bridge because you know how long it takes to get up to the, the tower of the secret garden that, but yeah, it, it's always been that when you go up there and you just go across the bridge, it's like the developers, they really did. They really wanted to cut that out. They didn't want people to go up to there. And the reason they didn't want people to go up there is they wanted people they wanted to trick people with how easy it was, okay? Because it was very easy. It was, like, easy. Like, you could just walk under the bridge. And then if you're, like, looking up at the top, then you're seeing the Y. You're seeing the bird, the, like, the shape of the bird for from Lucky Tail. Um, and, yeah, that's the thing. That's why it's, like, a PlayStation thing. Um, uh, another, another example from PlayStation – just to just to tell you right off, um, like uh, we never got Monster Hunter Frontier G, but um, in America, 
but uh, the PSP Vita was going to be the first one to get Monster Hunter Frontier G if that was to happen and come to a North American market. So that was that's the thing. Like like PlayStation will get these games. Like PlayStation got Lucky Tail. Lucky Tail became multi plat. It is probably just the same exact market thing. Like if PSP Vita got Monster Hunter Frontier G, then every system Xbox, you know Wii U. Xbox 360, Xbox One, everybody would have gotten, like, Monster Hunter Frontier G. But, like, as we know, uh, Monster Hunter Frontier G did not get to the PSP Vita thing, so there was that. And, um, uh, so basically it's just buying Japanese cards again, too, you know. But, uh, <laughs> if you want to go buy Japanese cards, you know, that, I, I still think they're doing it too. I still think they're still doing where you're buying Japanese cards and you're buying a Japanese video game system and you're buying, buying a, uh, a Japanese cord. Um, and I'm playing on uh, the Shadow of Colossus version I'm playing on now is the Ico and Shadow of Colossus PS3 version. Um, in the PS3 version, uh, I guess like... Um, it, it's it simplifies some areas to like it shows you different angles of the game but yeah lucky yep lucky lucky 